Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading today may apply to everyone. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and for your situation. And release the rest to the universe. So let's see what messages the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to hear? What do we need to know, please? I wasn't honest about my feelings for you because I was afraid you would reject me. Well, your person has probably had some rejection fears that they have been carrying with them for quite some time. And this, for some of you, could even stem from this person's childhood. Perhaps they were rejected by their parents. Perhaps they didn't get the kind of love that they needed from their parents when they were growing up. Or perhaps they were bullied in grade school or junior high or high school and then they've just sort of like carried this wound with them for a very long time and not working through these rejection fears has allowed them to fester inside your person but they weren't honest about their feelings this is telling us their feelings for you are here they have just scared them because they hadn't felt or experienced anything like this before the kind of feelings that they felt for you when the two of you first met this was something that was unusual for them it was foreign to them they'd never felt or experienced the emotion the opening of their heart when the two of you first met and it didn't seem like it was real to this person and so they were second guessing it they were kind of like dwelling on it all the time wondering if it was real wondering if it was fake wondering if you were going to leave them or abandon them like others have in the past now we know that you would not abandon your person and while we may think well that's just silly of them to think that for this person because they have had this as part of their psyche for some time it is a real thing for this person but they are working through this because they want to be honest about their feelings for you they're working through their fears they are getting past being scared of their feelings and their love for you so that they can show up for you and be the partner you need them to be Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? What is happening here? I was projecting all of my fears on you. Well, yes. And this is why they were not able to be truthful, open, or honest about their feelings for you. All of their fears is something that lives in their mind. And what are fears truly but illusions that we have built up in our minds, in our head, in our brain that are constantly yapping at us? You are not good enough. They're going to reject you. They're going to abandon you. They're not going to love you the way that you love them. So you can't tell this person how you feel about them because you're scared. But love is more powerful than fear. And love and fear cannot exist in the same space. So your person is acknowledging that it's time to come out of this place of isolation and start coming towards you and being expressive of their feelings. We have to look at what these two cards say. I wasn't honest. I was projecting, not I am or I will. I was is past. This is about your person before they've started working on themselves and healing and going through the transformation that is happening for them now while the two of you are in this preparing for union space. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? Don't mistake my silence for not loving you. And I feel that that is a really big statement that's coming from your person. And what I'm hearing is, just because I'm quiet, it doesn't mean I don't have feelings for you. Just because I'm silent doesn't mean I don't love you. I just need this silence right now so that I can work through all of this fear, all of this illusion 
I am defeating this fear. I am kicking it to the curb. I am getting rid of it because the love that I feel for you is more powerful than this fear. And it is truly time for me to let it go and open my heart to express the love that I've always felt for you, to be honest, truthful, and real with you so that we have this opportunity to build a better future, a better lives for ourselves so that we can have a stable, solid, loving relationship with each other. Their silence is because they are getting their act together. And for many of you out there watching this reading, this person has needed to get their act together for some time. And you have been this powerful catalyst for change. If it wasn't for loving you and having these feelings that they have kept inside or repressed or shut down, then they may not be going through this change and transformation that's happening for them because why would they need to? They wouldn't. They would just move on with their lives and perhaps carry these things with them for the remainder of their lives. And how sad would that be? That's a horrible, sad thought for your person to be carrying all of their fears, their phobias, their insecurities, their issues, unresolved stuff, emotional wounds, old traumas that they haven't released or let go, or perhaps even a wounded inner child. But you are providing this catalyst for change for this person to work through these things. Love is more powerful than fear. And the love your person feels for you is going to help them kick these things to the curb once and for all. But in their silence, they are saying here, I love you. I just want to show up where I am healed and ready for you and this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective, what do we need to hear? What do we need to know? What is happening here? I wish I could be brave and tell you I still love you and want you in my life forever. Well, your person is going to be able to do this because they are getting rid of that fear monster that lives in their head that has yapped at them for so many years, telling them they're not good enough, telling them they're not lovable, telling them they're not worthy, telling them they have no confidence, telling them that no one could love them because of their stuff. Your person is working through this and they will find that courage to be brave and tell you that they love you and want you to be in their life forever because that is part of the process of this growth for this relationship. You are both catalysts for change for each other. How have you changed as a result of this person being in your life and then not in your life at the moment. You guys watching the reading, you have grown. You've gone through a spiritual awakening. You are learning new things every day. Perhaps you didn't meditate before and you do now. Perhaps you didn't listen to tarot readings before and you do now. You're exploring your spirituality. You are figuring out your authentic self. And this is what your person is doing as well because this will give this relationship for the two of you much greater stability to go long term. And after all, this person, your person is saying here, I love you and I want you in my life forever. But I've got to work through this stuff first. And while I am in this place of silence, please don't think that I don't love you. It's just because I don't want to say the wrong things. I don't want to do the wrong things. I don't want to hurt you anymore because when I come back, I want our relationship to be real, true, and authentic so that I can be this partner that you deserve. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? I want you back because I know we're meant to be together. This person has always known the two of you are destined for each other. They knew it in the moment the two of you first met when you were standing there face to face looking at each other that first time, that first date or that first meeting. However, the two of you first found one another. 
Your person says that, yes, we are meant to be together. And this is truly what this person believes. It's just they want to make sure that they don't give you any false hope. They want to make sure that they don't come back and screw things up again because they're not fully on the other side of this fear. They have to work through this. Their feelings for you are real, but they have never felt anything this powerful before. So they are working changing, transforming, so that when they do come back, fear will no longer be anywhere in this relationship. They will be full in with you. Commitment fears and phobias will be gone as well. Any other kind of things that have held them back from being in this relationship with you will be gone because they know that you're meant to be together, which is why they are going through this transformation. So the two of you have a greater opportunity to get this relationship to the place of long-term partnership. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? Well, this is the chariot. The chariot is all about success and victory and your person overcoming what they need to overcome to be in this relationship with you. And that is truly what needs to happen. The chariot is about being successful and being able to overcome these things that have held them back. But it's also about getting moving, getting this relationship out of this place of stagnation, getting it unstuck and on its forward progress towards partnership. We also have here this, um, these two sphinxes, and one is black and one is white. Well, actually, it would be turquoise because of the deck that I'm using today, um, which, symbol, which symbolizes the duality of this connection, which is really all about yin and yang. This card tells us you and your person do belong together. Your person knows you belong together, and that is what they are working towards with this chariot being here, getting it unstuck, being successful at overcoming the things that have held them back because your person sees this future with you. The chariot is ruled by cancer, so sun, moon, or rising in cancer for either you or your person, but you do not have to be cancer for this reading to work. These readings are for all signs. They are collective readings. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? This is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is about an offer coming from your person. Now that offer could be to go for a walk, go for coffee, go for a drink, go for a drive in the car because they want to start talking to you. Your person knows they owe you a very big explanation about why they did what they did, about why their feelings for you scared them, about why they couldn't put forth the effort and energy they needed to for this relationship, why they were fearful, why they ran, why they ghosted, and all of the other transgressions that your person has committed against you by behaving and acting in low vibration ways that were so very hurtful to you. But this is a message as well that's coming from your person. Pages deliver messages, but it's coming with an offer, whether it's about meeting up, talking, going for a walk, going out, going to a meal, going for a drive. This is about your person wanting to reach out to you and start communicating and explaining things to you. The Page of Pentacles is an earth sign, so if you or your person sun, moon, or rising signs are in Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Again, a place of validation. You do not have to be, though, for this reading to work. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we all need to know, please? Well, this is the Three of Wands, and this is about your person definitely missing you, definitely wanting you back, 
definitely longing for you as well because this three of wands is a card of yearning your person missing you it's like they are waiting for something it's like they're waiting for the right moment of when they have figured out all the words that they're going to say to you because they don't want to screw this up again for this person to show back up they want to make sure that they have it all together they want to be able to explain all of this to you and not make a mess of that conversation but as well the three of wands tells us the wait is almost over because your person is getting tired of being without you your person does not like this distance this separation that's here between you they don't like the silence either but they don't want to say the wrong thing they don't want to do the wrong thing they want to make sure that they are on the other side of this but this reading tells us that they will be successful at overcoming let's see what else we need to know for this reading what other messages does the collective need to hear what do we need to know please what is happening here Six of Cups. <clears throat> Six of Cups is all about your person reminiscing, thinking about you, wanting to spend time with you, wanting to travel with you as well with that chariot and that Three of Wands. Perhaps they are reflecting on trips the two of you took together before. When you were spending time together before or in a relationship before, they are thinking about these things as well because the Six of Cups is a card of memories and nostalgia. They are missing you with these two cards side by side. But it also tells us that they want to make new memories with you. They want to have new adventures and experiences together. You are on their mind with the Six of Cups showing up in this reading. And perhaps as well for some of you guys out there watching the reading, you could be getting some other communication from an old friend that you haven't heard from in a while, someone that you haven't been spending time with or seeing or communicating with. Not only your person, I am talking about someone else. So maybe bear that in mind as well, that people from the past may be returning to start communicating and renewing your friendships as well. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? What is the universe wanting to share with us today? Well, this is the star. Just one moment, guys. Just one moment. It is ta-da. Da, 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 da. It is sticky time. So for those of you who are new to the channel, Sometimes you'll see cards with little post-its on it, and that is because we have to cover some of the images. Um, I don't want to draw on the cards or mark them or put permanent stickies on them because then I feel it doesn't give it the right shuffle. And I like the cards to come out as the universe wants them to come out. And if I had this sticky on there when I was shuffling, it might come out more frequently, and I don't want that to happen. But the star is a symbol of hope here. We have movement, success, and we have hope. This tells us your person is hopeful that you're going to give them this chance to represent themselves to you because the Six of Cups is also a card of reunion. Wanting to start over. The star also tells us that your person is going to be able to work through all of their fears, their issues, their phobias, and everything else so that they can present themselves to you as a more solid, balanced, non-fearful, heart-open, loving partner. That is what this is telling us. But also with the star being here, it also tells us your person sees you as the ideal one for them. And they have always known that you are the one, especially with the star being here. The star is ruled by Aquarius. So with the star card, it says to have hope, have faith that your person can work through this stuff because this is all about them making their way back to you with a burst of energy all of a sudden coming towards you and seeing if you're going to take them back, but also explaining to you that they've always known that you were the one and they don't want to live their life without you anymore because your person doesn't 
feel complete without you. You do bring them this sense of completion, which is why this Three of Wands is in the middle of the reading, and that is about them longing for you, wishing for you, yearning for you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? Open your heart. I love this card so much. It has so much on it. Number 10, if anyone resonates with number 10, well, there are a couple of little cherubs down here, right there. But you can see that this female figure is laying, being embraced by this swan, but there's also very faint, a male figure embracing her. This is about your person getting past their fears of opening their heart. This is about your person being able to do it. It is about your person being expressive, finding that strength and that courage to tell you that they want you in their life forever. This is about your person doing what it takes to defeat all of their stuff, to be successful at getting rid of the fear, to be able to open their heart and let you in into the very core of who they are and no longer being fearful of what they are feeling for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for that. Getting past their rejection fears, getting past their old emotional baggage, getting past anything and everything that has been a blockage or a hindrance to this relationship so that they can open their heart and no longer allow the feelings they have for you to scare them. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? Angel of Strength. Well, this card is very powerful and it tells us, I love that look on that lion's face. And that is definitely showing us your person is going to get rid of that fear. All of it. Fear and love cannot exist in the same space. Your person is choosing love over their fear. They want to make their way back to you and they will find that strength and that courage that comes with that angel of strength card to make it happen. No more cowardly lion. Like in the Wizard of Oz, this is about your person finding the courage, the confidence, the strength to work through the remainder of their issues and then be on their way back to you to see if you are going to accept this offer, accept this invitation that is coming from them. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? What is going on here in this situation? What needs to happen? What do we need to know? What is going on, please? Realization. Well, your person has had many realizations here. And this is a giant keyhole, isn't it? That's what it looks like to me, unless someone sees something different. But this is about your person having many, many, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, this is about your person having many realizations here. It is about them having epiphanies. It is about them being able to see so much clearer now than they ever have before. And if we look at this card very closely, we can see as this figure here is in the keyhole looking at how it's all cloudy. All they have to do is turn around and everything is clear. And this is what is happening for your person right now too. They are getting that clarity. They are having these realizations. They are having the breakthrough that they need, they really need to kick that fear away from their life. And it's not just perhaps about this relationship or their feelings that they have fears about. It could also be because, sorry, it could also be affecting or impacting other areas of their lives as well. I mean, if your person has fears about not have being confident or fears of rejection that may be holding them back from getting a new job or changing jobs or applying for a promotion or learning something new or anything else that we all have to do here on the planet as humans your person this could be holding them back from any of those things so it is important that this person works through these things and makes their way back to you 
whole and complete and this rock solid partner that you need them to be. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective, what do we need to hear? Let's see what's going on here. What do we need to know? What is happening here? What do we need to hear, please? Travel, journey, adventure, and movement. You guys, anybody out there have a trip coming up? This is about travel, actually. So is this chariot, and so is this three of wands. But I feel as well, we talked about this already with the six of cups and the three of wands, about your person thinking about the trips the two of you have taken together, if you have traveled with this person, or where they would like to travel with you so that you can have new, exciting adventures together and have more memories, create more memories with each other. That I feel is something that is on your person's mind. But also, if you guys are thinking about taking a journey or thinking about going somewhere, perhaps a road trip or a little getaway with some friends or family to go, to go visit friends or family, now might be a time to do that. Or if you have a holiday planned, bon voyage and have a great time, guys. Those of you who are traveling, let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the collective need to hear for this reading today, please? What do we need to know? What is happening here? Big waves. Turbulent. Emotional overwhelm and intensity. So I feel that this is the emotions that your person feels for you. And it may have been too intense for them, which is why they were fearful of what they were feeling. You know, you feel these intense emotions and it's great and it's wonderful and you feel like you are on cloud nine, you feel like you are on top of the world, but then the reality of it starts to set in and sometimes when that happens for some people, they can come crashing back down to earth and, oh my God, I can't allow this to happen. This is something that I've never felt before. I don't know how to act in a relationship. I have commitment fears. I have commitment phobias. I am afraid of what I am feeling because it means I am going to have to grow up and change my self and my life. And I'm afraid to do that because I have all this stuff from the past that has been bogging me down and weighing me down. But I need to release all of it now because I want to feel the intensity of these emotions again. I want to feel the intensity of this connection again. That is what your person is saying here. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? Slowly but surely, it's happening. It's happening steady movement forward. Now, that chariot is also about moving, movement, getting things unstuck, getting things moving, your person taking action to make that happen. Now, so the thing that we have to talk about here for a moment is your person may be taking baby steps towards you, shuffling back a little bit, feeling confident coming towards you, and then fear tapping them on the shoulder. No, you can't do this. So they back up a little bit. The thing is, your person is making progress towards defeating all of these things and no longer fearing what they feel for you in their heart and in their soul. So the thing to consider is when you see this person and you start talking to them again, if it's been a really long time that you have since you have had communication from them or spent time with them, it's going to feel like no time has passed because that is this kind of intensity and this kind of connection. It's just how it is. It's just the way it is. So you may need to sort of like temper things a little bit. Don't allow things to move too quickly. Don't maybe set a boundary with them. Set a boundary with them. If it goes too quick, they may feel overwhelmed again with their emotions. And so you may need to sort of like be in the driver's seat, like in that chariot card, literally, for a little bit to make sure that things don't go too fast. Because if they do, you don't want your person to kind of like be overwhelmed again. But your person is making progress. They may be slow, but they are making the progress towards you. Steady movement 
forward. It's happening. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? What is happening here? What is going on with this person? Deep love. And there is a deep love. That is these big waves. That is this emotional intensity that is here between you and your person. Soulmates, spiritual connection, kindred spirits. The bottom line with this card is it is a deep spiritual connection. Whether you are soulmates or twin flames, please just take that as it resonates for you. But there is a deep love, an endless love an infinite love and your person felt this deep love for you when the two of you first met and yes it very well could have been very overwhelming for this person and they are having to work through all of that stuff no longer being overwhelmed no longer being afraid changing that dialogue in their head that has told them you're not good enough they might reject you you're unlovable no one wants to be with you why are you doing this this person's going to see what you're really like and they're going to end it with you and changing that story in our minds changing that inner dialogue that we can have a tendency to replay quite a bit, actually, especially when we go to bed at times. We have to turn that off. We've got to shut that down. And that is what your person is doing. Remember, this chariot is about them successfully overcoming the things that have been keeping them fearful, keeping them afraid, keeping them stuck from being able to be in this relationship with you to where their feelings are no longer going to scare them to where they're going to be so happy to be able to have this opportunity to be with you again. That is what this star card means for your person. They hope you're going to give them this opportunity to return that comes with that six of cups let's see what else we need to know for this reading today please what other messages does the collective need to hear sword and rose i like this card because it's all about clarity and truth and revelations and this has definitely been happening for your person with this realization card as well your person sees so much clearer now than they ever have. And this is truly what you have needed your person to do. You need them to have these epiphanies. You need them to see the truth. You need them to understand that fear doesn't truly exist. It's just something that our mind creates to prevent us from going out and having all that we desire in our lives. Your person sees that now, and that is why they are working through their issues. They've had many revelations. They've had many breakthroughs, but as well, there is a determination in them to get rid of these things that have held them back. There's a determination in them to get back to you, to have this relationship with you. And this time, they will honor, protect, and preserve this relationship with everything that they have within them, with all of their love, with all of their heart and all of their soul. Because the truth is your person's feelings for you have always been there. It's just that they allowed their fears and insecurities to hold them back from being able to express them in all of their fullness to you. And your person does not want to be that way anymore they want to be able to be full on in this relationship with you because they want to experience this deep love what else do we need to know for this reading today please what other messages does the collective need to hear mask hiding true feelings pretending well your person may have been wearing a mask and hiding how they really felt from you 
to keep them safe, to keep them secure, but that is going to be very different as you rebuild this relationship with your person. They will be taking off that mask and allowing you to see the truth of who they are. This is about them being real with you. This is about them being authentic. This is about them doing what it takes to be determined to protect and honor you and this relationship. No more hiding their true feelings. That is all going to be a thing of the past. They're going to take this mask off and be real and be devoted to you and to building this relationship because they see you as the one for them. No longer allowing their feelings, their love, the emotion that they feel for you to scare them or frighten them anymore. It is all going to be all in with you because your person is saying here, I I just couldn't do it before. I was so afraid you were going to reject me. I was afraid you were going to find something about me that you didn't like. I was fearful that if I took my mask off, you would see something about me that you did not find attractive. And so I hid who I really was because of my fears, because of my insecurities, because of my issues that I should have healed long ago, but they were allowing me to sort of like stay in this, well, victim place because then I wouldn't have to be accountable. I didn't have to grow up. I wouldn't have to make big changes in my life, but I am wanting to make these changes now because I desire this future with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? Passion. Insane chemistry. Well, yes, there is insane chemistry here between you and your person, right, guys? Sparks and having fun. Well, we'll just leave that there. We can't really talk about that, but you guys know what that means. Equal interest. Burning desire. Yeah. Your person has always felt this insane chemistry to you, just like you have feel just like you have always felt it with them. And they say here, I know we're meant to be together. Yes, and it is more than just this burning desire. It is also about this knowledge that is within your person that yes, the two of you do belong together and that you have a future together. And they are certainly hoping, with this star card being here, they are making that wish and throwing it out to the universe. And they are hoping that you will give them the opportunity to have this chance again. And they don't want to blow it again. They want to be all in with you. And they want to be able to tell you and show you how they have always felt about you. And you will see this from your person. You'll see it from them all the time. They will no longer hide their feelings. They will not wear a mask. They will be real, authentic, and true, and sincere with you as they make their way back to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? What is going on here? What messages does the universe want to reveal? Picture. Looking at pictures. Yes, I do feel your person probably is. This is very much like that six of cups here. Looking at pictures, missing you, feeling nostalgic. Perhaps they're reading your old messages, old emails, texts, listening to your voice messages, taking many trips down memory lane reflecting upon time when they were with you. But this is also about making new memories and wanting to have and build these new memories with you, with travel, with adventures, with road trips, with going places together, with having fun, with building this relationship, with love, passion, chemistry, and a solid foundation that will not break ever again. Because when your person returns, they will be on the other side of their fears, their issues, and insecurities, and everything else. And they will not run from these feelings again. 
This is why it's slow but steady progress. They have to work through a lot of these things. This is what's been holding them back. It's why they ran. It's why they ghosted. They didn't run from you because they didn't have feelings for you and thought that you had an, an ear growing in the middle of your forehead and were therefore not attractive. It had nothing to do with anything like that. It has to do with what they were feeling, knowing that their life was about to change in a big way and running from all of that as well because when this person met you, they knew that you were the one. They still know that you are the one, and that is evident here with this star card that is down here. It's just you need your person to be on the other side of this fear. I want you back because I know we're meant to be together. They feel passion for you. They're attracted to you. There's great chemistry between the two of you. There's a, definitely this magical spark that exists between the two of you. But your person wasn't ready for any of this when the two of you met. They were not expecting or anticipating meeting someone like you. And while they have acknowledged that they do feel very lucky to have met you and have this opportunity to know you, they weren't ready for the power of what they were feeling their emotions, what they were feeling in their heart, what they were planning in their future as they projected this future with you, they weren't ready for that either. And so they allowed their fears to overcome what they were feeling for you in their heart. But that is changing because your person is finding the strength and the courage to take off their mask. They have had many revelations and epiphanies and breakthroughs and they know the two of you belong together they are realizing so much more now of what they have done to create this disconnect between you and how they're going to fix it which is why they are going to open their heart and embrace this love and no longer be fearful of what they were feeling no longer being scared of their emotions no longer being scared of commitment or this relationship that has always been part of their plan with you. They just needed to walk into the power of who they are. And you, by being this catalyst for change in this person's life, is allowing them to embrace this power of who they are and make their way back to you. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to all of you. Have a great day, everyone.